Okay, so one of the things we have to do is be able to get access to our documents that we've created in our ddhspages.net account and get them into our new student.ddouglas account. So here's my DDHS pages and here are some of my documents and I'd like to get these documents into my new account. So I'm using Chrome here and I'm logged in and because Google does not like to have two different accounts open in the same web browser I'm also going to use Firefox here and in Firefox I will log in to my student.dwis account and there's no documents in here as we can see so I will go back to my DDHS pages account and let's say I want this graphic organizer in here I'm going to seems to be messing with me a little bit let me refresh this okay so let's say I want this graphic organizer, I can hit Actions, Share, Share Settings, and I can go ahead and put in my email address. And my email address, uh, for you guys it's your login, which is your last name, first name, last two digits of your student ID, followed by at student.dwglas.k12.or.us. Uh, mine's a little different, and it's just my name, but it's still at student. D Douglas, k one two dot us. I'm going to leave this as can edit, and I'll click share. And it's working. Okay, and there it is. And then if I go back to my new one, the D Douglas one, hopefully if I refresh it, there it is. To my new account, I should be able to open it. And yes, I can. Congratulations to me. Now, I don't know if I necessarily want to do this one at a time, but I guess that's how we could do it. What we could do though, I could do a few at a time. So let's say, let's just take five or six of them or so. I'm going to highlight my vocabulary list. It's highlighted. I'm going to go down about five. I'm going to hold down the shift key and click the mouse. And notice how all these are highlighted now. I should still be able to go actions, share, sharing settings. And again, I'll type in my name. Sorry, my web, my new email address. Uh, and click share. And yes, I am sure. Close that. And we'll go back. So it's not going back, is it? Okay. Let's refresh this. And there they are. And that's basically how you transfer items over. Now, if you don't own a file, you cannot transfer it over. You cannot share it. So if someone else shared a, a file with you and you'd like to share it with your new email address, you can't do that. They would have to share it with you. So that's the only issue.